Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to speed up, slow down, and reverse video in iMovie. So iMovie 09 has all sorts of cool little features like the ability to speed up, slow down, and reverse video. Let's go and take a look where those features are and how to use them. So as always, let's make sure you have advanced tools turned on in the iMovie preferences, though you don't really need it for this. Now, when you have a project, you've got some videos down here, you drag one to your project up here. Now, this will play back at normal speed. If you want to go ahead and speed it up, what you need to do is go to the information for this clip in your project. You can do that by selecting it and pressing I. This will bring up the inspector. In the first part of the inspector is for clip and in here you'll see speed and you have to hit convert entire clip in order to go ahead and control the speed. So you wait for that to happen and once you've got that you now have a speed control here where you can speed it up. So let's look at what happens if we speed it up 400 times. We do done and then we play this back and we can see the preview over here how it's much faster. Now we can go ahead into the inspector again and we can slow it down. We can put it in slow motion and now when we play it back we can see that slow motion. Now keep in mind if you've got video that's standard say 30 frames per second you're not going to be able to get any more detail there so you actually see the frames play out one by one when you slow it down enough. But some cameras now can shoot 60 frames per second which will actually create a very nice slow motion effect. Now we can also go ahead and look in the inspector here and see that we've got a direction button to reverse the direction of the video. So we can go ahead and let's say speed that up 200% and do it in reverse and now we'll play that back and we'll see there we go. Okay, some other things you should look at when you're doing this is if you go ahead into the inspector here, there's also a tab for audio. A lot of times when you reverse the video or when you speed it up, you don't want the sound to play. The sound's going to be all distorted and it might be a useful effect if that's what you're going for. But if you want to actually get rid of that audio because you're going to have music playing over it or say you're going to have uh, some other voiceover going on, you can go ahead and reduce the, clip, uh, the volume of that clip just here in the audio tab all the way down to zero. Now the slider here will take you down to 12.5% 1 8 speed all the way up to 800%. But you can actually go further than that. For instance, you can type in the field here 1600%. You can go all the way down to any small percent there and really stretch out the video. You can also go ahead and change the time here so you can make it fit an exact time like say 7 seconds. Now I find speeding up video is very useful if you have a long sequence that you want to shorten to make your video more concise. For instance, when I was showing a video of Macworld Expo earlier this year, I sped up a walkthrough of the crowd so you can see how big the Expo was but it only took about 30 seconds of video instead of the actual 5 minutes it took me to walk through the entire floor. Slowing video down could be great for sports, say if you've done home video of your children playing sports like making a great soccer play or sliding into home plate you can create a slow motion playback. Remember you can reuse the same video more than once in your finished project. So you can show the play full speed and then play it back in slow motion. Hope you found this feature of iMovie 09 useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>